Your wiki will usually be found in the course content. What you'll want to do is click on the title. Here you can see some information about the wiki, but you still need more information to figure out what you need to do. So click on that title. It's going to take us to a page. This page has already opened up, but it may take you to a page that says you need to create a wiki page if none have been created. I went ahead and created one so you could actually see what we have here. So this looks a little bit different than your blog as well as your journal. We have you can create a wiki page. You have my contribution. You can edit what is already here. Uh, you can make a comment to it. We're building a wiki for this assignment for this um, make believe assignment. So let's go in and try this and see what happens. We go in, we edit the wiki page and we go in here and we realize, oh, I forgot to put in my term. So let's go ahead and start with a term and we'll put the information in here. Current conditions of the atmosphere. So I put in my definition, I hit submit. So now you can see that the wiki has been edited. Well, also in this assignment is to continue this process and to make these entries a little bit better and a little bit better. So I need to add that is happening now. So I continue to make this wiki and continue to make it better. Well, I need to create a glossary for chapter two that can be worked on. So I go in and I put this information in and I add my definition. So we're just going to put something in here because it doesn't really matter. We're just taking it and adding the information. So now you can see you have the glossary. So you've created a wiki page. You've edited a wiki page. You want to see your terms. You've got your glossary in one. You have your chapter two glossary. So you can see all of the information that all of the students have added into this because this is going to be a class assignment when you're working on a wiki. If you need to see your contribution to this assignment, you can go in and you can see see the amount of information that has been added in and what you've added to it. So you can check and see, have I done what I'm supposed to be doing and see all of those different things. I also want to point out, I always forget, if you see this little box, there's a grading rubric. You always want to read that before you start the assignment because it gives you additional information on how it's going to be graded and it might help you to improve your grade. But you can do this anytime because you can go back in and edit these, but make sure you do it by the deadline. As you can see on here, you have a participation summary. You have an area that has comments in it um, under that feedback. You also have a blank grade because it has not been graded by the instructor yet. So you have all of that information available to you. If it doesn't show everything here, you can click show all and it will continue to add that information down on the line for you to be able to see that. Now, if you are coming into the blog, remember you can always find it on that course contents or your wiki, not a blog. You can always find it on the course content, but if your instructor has added a quick link, it will be over here on the side and you can take it. You can read down the topics, find your wiki, and then you can work from there as well. You have grades in the gradebook that are associated with this assignment, so we click on My Grades. We're able to go in here and we see our weather terms, our wiki, our, we can view our rubric from here as well. We can see when we submit it the last time and also that we're waiting for the instructor to grade something here. As we wait for them, you can come back and check periodically if you would like to do so.